Happy Tuesday, everyone. Welcome back to the Tuesday Weekend, your podcast about those of us who cannot do that thing with you on Saturday night because we'll still be at work. I'm your host, Josh Hobson. With me, someone who can whip up a batch of simple syrup for you real easy, Nick Parkin. Nick, how are you doing? Doing good. Doing good. You know, I've got a good recipe for simple syrup, too. In fact, Ooh. it's the same recipe. Also joining us today is Aurora Macias, the chef of Fireside Dining up at Deer Valley Ski Resort. Aurora's worked at DV for 13 years now. Wow, good job. Um, and full disclosure was one of the bridesmaids in my wedding party. So welcome, Aurora. Glad to have you. Thank you. How are you doing this, this lovely Tuesday? It's going to be a long day, that's for sure. <laughs> oh, yes. Um, the very name of this podcast comes from the fact that in the 25-ish years that I've worked in the food industry, Tuesday has been my most common day off, followed by Monday and Wednesday. And I mean, first, who doesn't love a Monday off? You can hit the club Sunday night, stay out late, knowing you don't have to be around to work Monday morning. Wait, you guys work Monday morning? Gross. Um, but Tuesdays are the best days to go to the museum, to go to the laundromat, Baseball ticket, tickets are cheaper. Restaurants are less crowded. When I worked at the ski resort, Tuesday was also the slowest day on the mountain, which means the skiing Best. is better. Um, and I do, I, I must mention, when D and I got married, our ceremony was on a Tuesday just to make everybody else conform to our weekend for a change. So today we are talking about weekends and holidays in the industry and how different our experience might be from those who have only ever worked nine to five jobs. Then we're going to touch on kind of some broader implications for, you know, like family and relationships. So that should be fun. So first question, Aurora, what are your days off right now? <laughs> Usually you're right. It is a Monday, Tuesday, but this is the first summer in quite a while where I actually get the weekends for once. What? So I've been getting my Saturday, Sunday. Oh, that is a beautiful thing. But usually that it's always Monday, Tuesdays. Right. And I, once you're back into the winter season, I'm sure. It's it going to be Monday, Tuesdays. Yeah. And that's if I get a day off because we're so busy. I mean, completely random side question. What's a Saturday like? It just, it seems like so long since I've seen a Saturday night. I don't even go out, so I just be a potato. <laughs> I got gotcha. you. Because I'm too tired, so I'm. Just, it's like all the catch-up time. Oh, sure. No, in fact, what is waiting for me after I get done with this is the pile of laundry I've been ignoring for a couple of days. and It's it, right it, there. Yeah. No, it's right it'll there. Get done. It'll get done. So, Nick, yeah. what are your days off at the moment? Right now, they're Monday, Tuesday. They've always been Monday, Tuesday, or Tuesday, Wednesday for as long as I can remember, and I pretty much can remember for a very long time. It's always been, I've always had Tuesdays off and then either Monday or Wednesday, sure. always, uh, like since the nineties <laughs> for a while here this summer, I had, I had a great summer where I had Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday off. Oh. And then uh, to, to make matters worse, I realized that I, I'm fine working that amount of time and paying my bills and adding to savings and doing all that, that I didn't need the fifth day. And then sailing ended and they immediately decided I needed that fifth day. Yeah, sure. I was like. Didn't we just hire somebody? Well, she can't work Wednesdays. I'm like, why would you hire somebody? You no, know, three of my more senior servers only work four nights a week. And I am a little bit envious. I would love to try to it's shift not. into a four day a week kind of schedule. You get the sleep day first, you get the busy day next, and then you've got that third day or second, third day just to do whatever you want to. Well, about six weeks ago, I left the chaotic, completely all over the place schedule that Banquets had to offer for the much more straightforward Italian restaurant that is only open for dinner five nights a week. So that is just way more straightforward and a whole lot easier to you know move the rest of my life around. Yeah. So at the moment, my days off are Wednesday and Thursday, and I've that's fine. I have nothing against a Thursday. That also actually means my Tuesdays have quite a bit piled up into them these days because, well, you both know me, I don't sit still very easily and I tend to over cram my schedule and take on too many projects like, hey, this one right here. But, you know, we have a good time. I also, I used to joke for a while that there was a an afternoon in May, I think it was 
mid-May of 2015 that I was bored for about an hour and a half. And I think that was the most recent time that I've allowed myself boredom. I, that's just not my thing. Anyway, in the next block, I'm, I want to explore the guests end of the holiday. But just personally, Nick, what's your favorite holiday? Uh, I didn't know I was supposed to have one. I like Thanksgiving a lot. Sure. I've always liked Christmas. So, I mean, those those are fun. Um, for me, especially, uh, like, my family's Italian, so Christmas Eve is actually a huge deal. You know, you do the, the traditional feast of the seven to nine to 12 fishes, depending on what part of Italy you're from, um, where it's all different pastas, different sauce. So I mean, we had a squid ink pasta, and then we also had a white fish pasta. I mean, just two different sauces are made. There's all kinds of different stuff. You know, do the whole traditional thing with the family and all that. Uh, same thing, Thanksgiving was just always a blast. And when we talk about the other holidays, the Wednesday night before Thanksgiving is easily one of the biggest bar nights on the planet. And I, I, I haven't worked that one in a while, but I always love working that one because it's like an accidental holiday night mm -hmm. that you know is coming. It's not like, why? Why are we so busy? It's like, oh, because literally nobody works on Thanksgiving. Sure. I mean, I've, I've had the, my record tip nights are on the night before Thanksgiving versus like all those other big holidays. I mean, I used, I used to love St. Patrick's Day when I was younger. Right. That's a lot. <laughs> I mean, absolutely. Oh, no, no. I mean, I, 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 there's a lot of times I would get St. Patrick's Day off instead of work it, and I like to make a lot of money. Sure. And yeah, I just, I've, I've had a few epic St. Patrick's Days in different cities. I've had one that ended up went from one city to another city. So yeah, I, I like St. Patrick's Day quite a bit. Uh, and that those cities were in different states. Is it even a proper St. Patrick's Day if you haven't crossed state lines at some point? I agree. I think you should be able to go to another state while you're in the middle of. You know the the literal drink all day and and that is really one of the main reasons i am such a big proponent of public transit and light rail and hey let's have all the partying but let's get around there safely and not into cars oh yeah anyway uh but aurora do you have a favorite holiday i don't think so to be honest <laughs> right well i mean everything that's not when i'm at work i think that's, oh, sure. that's, every that's every day part. that we're not at work is my favorite holiday. Sure. Most of the places that I've worked recently, and now maybe it's just because I've had the advantage of being either a chef or a manager, but of Thanksgiving, Christmas, and New Year's Eve, I get one of those three days off and work the other two. And it's just kind of expected. And really, in the past as a cook, I've definitely worked all three in the last calendar year i've worked every holiday except for thanksgiving and uh, fourth of july yeah i don't think i've ever worked thanksgiving just because it's right before the season opens I, exactly. so we get that that's usually our that. last couple of days off we get like a big maybe four days off we're like oh my god before yeah. the season opens exactly. up and because then you're you're next the ground running your, your next time you're going to get three days off in a row is april yeah. yeah, when the season ends. Well, I mean, back when I back when I worked in Park City, winter time was I worked Lindsay's and I also worked at a uh, Harrios, and then I also worked at a uh, Epic Nightclub. I, I forgot that was there. Yeah, I, I was I was I was the lead bartender there. Um, so All I'd three work. of those are no longer there. Oh, I know. Yeah. I'm well. That's aware. why, like you saying those names, I'm like I remember hearing about them <laughs> when I was here, and now I'm like. But I would work seven days a week from November through April, May. And then summer comes around and like, so we'd go up and like, oh, so uh, what Saturday do you want to work this month? I'd be like, I want, wait, which one this month? They're all, yeah. And I'm like, I don't know, the third one. Okay. Yeah. Come, come back in two weeks, you know, and you get a Friday too. I'm like, ooh, because before they started doing all the summer stuff up in Park City, Memorial Day was the gateway to summer. Mm -hmm. I mean, as soon as Memorial Day hit, there was nobody. Fourth of July was busy and then nobody yeah like back in the day and we used to outdoor retailers when they had it and i know they have it again but when they had it then that was your savior because it was right in the middle of august you made nothing all summer and all of a sudden there's 50 million dollars that's in salt lake and park city for a week and just throwing down corporate cards i mean that literally saved you monetarily in the service industry in utah that one week because the rest of the summer just is awful summers seem busier up there now than oh no they're much busier yeah. oh now yes yeah. yeah dude no you, you've got you've got the rentals you've got the zip lines you've got the golf you've got the mountain biking like when i first was up there, it wasn't there i think park city is as great in the warm months as it is in the cold ones oh it's you know, fantastic 
people should spread their vacations across the calendar. In fact, well, we'll get into this in the next block, but there's Hell Week, the week between Christmas and New Year's that just really does not stop. And I've never experienced any restaurant have a slow patch between Christmas and New Year's. Mine does. Really? Oh. But it, it's location, plain and sure. simple. That makes sense. Um, I'm at a hotel in a downtown area, a gas lamp in San Diego. Uh, that's the party part. That's where all the clubs and bars and restaurants and everything are. People do live down there, but the people who live down there have apartments big enough for guests. So anyone at my hotel is traveling. They're there one night. They're out the next day. They're not there for Christmas or the duration. So my, my slowest week was Christmas week. And this year there were people trapped here because of all the bad weather last year. Oh, sure. Like I had people, I'm like, stay, you know, go, go to the beach. It's 80 degrees. Show your family you're having a good time. I know you can't be together. There's no way you're getting to Seattle. It is under like three feet of ice. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, but this is, you just make the best of it. You know, you know, I'm like pulling my phone up. You have these, you can look at them and talk to them, do that. It'll make you feel better. Sure. But yeah, it's, it's weird. I mean, I'm working in park city crushed working in the restaurant industry, just crushed. I mean, say that, that, that little bit of holiday right there, that hell, that is easily the busiest week almost every year, regardless of where you live, yeah. because everyone's on vacation. Everyone's happy, more or less, but it's yeah. just nonstop. It's open to close weight. Yep. You literally just like, I feel, I mean, the cooks are in prepping. They're staying late to prep for the next day because they know they're not going to be in prepped in time for the next day shift because they ran out of food. You, you go home, you nap for a couple of hours. You it feels like you shouldn't. Yeah. Just sleep under your desk real quick. Take a cat exactly. nap. Like the, the banquet up at, you know, table 36 is real comfy. Yeah. Yeah. The, the, the booth upstairs is nice. The one on that corner that where the sun doesn't hit is perfect. Exactly. You can get a good eight hours there. No <laughs> one will notice you. Somebody's looking for you. They're not going to no even see you there. Yeah. Yeah. You're camouflaged. It's the same color as your uniform. Okay, well, we're going to take a quick break, but we are when we come back, we're going to talk more about Hell Week because that's actually what I have outlined here. We're, we're going to talk about this some more because, yes, people outside need to understand. So leave us a, a like, tell your friends about it. We will be right back.